All right, uh, Martin. He's Martin Patella. I'm Scott Patton. Martin is a health coach, and we are both founders of the uh, Fibromyalgia Support Group. Uh, thank you for joining us and watching this video. Uh, Sam had a really good question, and we wanted to quickly address it in the next few minutes. Recently diagnosed at 38 years old and really struggling mentally with the fact that this is now my life. Every time I try to do normal everyday things, it now scares me as I know I will be suffering for days after. I just want to get to the point of accepting this is now my life, but I really do not know how to. Any advice would be greatly uh, appreciated and received. So, Martin, that's yeah. a really yeah. sad one. So, apropos, well, Sam, so I don't know how long it took you to get to diagnosed at 38, right? Like if there's a runway that that you're on and things are slowly getting worse and worse, and then you finally get a diagnosis that's the way of the medical system, what does it matter if you have a label on it? What we know is that you hurt a lot. I talked about triggers and thresholds, the balance between your thresholds, which have been lowered, and triggers, which have always been there, has been upset to the point where you are in a flare more often than not. So accepting the fact that this is your life, don't. I would suggest to you that there is a way out. If you stick with the general mainstream concept of, well, you have to live with it, then yes, that is your life. But I propose to you that you can actually decide to do differently. It's going to take taking steps. You have to detoxify the toxins that are blocking your natural expression of your homeostatic balance. You have to find your way through nutrition where you stop eating things that trigger you and make sure that you feed your body well, which will require essential fatty acids, nutrients, minerals, vitamins, and so on. That's balanceable. We can help you figure that out. You need to maintain some level of movement to uh, keep your body in movement. Otherwise, you go into stagnation, and that's a bad idea. And finally, whatever trauma that you have acquired or lived through or that caused you to be triggered, it should be resolved. All of that can be handled. I promise you that anyone who gets on the path with us, looking back, from 30 days looking back, you say, oh, I'm better today than I was a month ago. And a year, over a year, it's not instant. I cannot promise you anything shorter than 6 to 12 months. But you should be able to get your life back together. And your 40s should be a lot better than your 30s. I can promise you if you get on the path with us. Yeah, I've, I just wanted to add... Uh, one more thing, and that is, who was it that said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right? Mm -hmm. So your mindset is really crucial. And, you know, one of the four horsemen of fibromyalgia that Martin talks about a lot is drama. And trauma and drama and trauma, they all happen, like, up here more than anywhere else. And so... It's hard to fight the depression. It's hard to fight the pain. It's hard to fight the consistency of it. But you have to really be determined. And you and I think part of it is like a little bit of responsibility. Like somehow I got myself here and somehow I got to get myself out of here. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, Scott, and it's not going to be yeah. easy. Yeah, Scott, that is a critical point. Thank you for making it. It's the agency. You need to realize that you actually have the means to get better. You do. But you need to accept the fact that it's up to you. Victim style of seeing the problem is going to re keep you in victimhood. You cannot get better until you decide, regardless of how you got here, I'm not trying to blame anyone or anything for the situation that you have. That's not constructive. But the constructive part will be you accept the fact that it's totally in your hand, within your control, to make changes. And the changes are going to bring you 
positive results that I know. Yeah, and the other thing is expectations. If you've taken 38 years to get here, to think it's going to take you 38 minutes to get better is unrealistic. You know, it, and like the trauma, the trauma is like a dandelion, okay? Like a dandelion sends a big, long root deep into the earth and then a bunch of little teeny weeny side roots, right? And what happens is we grab the dandelion by the stem and we yank it out and we think, yay, we've done it. And three days later, there's another dandelion there, right? So we try to dig it out. We try to dig it out. And in a previous video, Martin talked about EFT, emotional freedom technique to getting rid of trauma. And I worked with an expert in that, Joan T Kaler, for years. And she did a session with me. And it was like, we're going on this path, right? And then, and I'm seeing, oh yeah, like over there, there's, there's where we're going. And we hit a dandelion root and she stopped us. And she says, no, no, we got to go down, down, down. And I was like, no, no, no. I don't want to look at these dark things. And so you're going to fight that temptation to, you know, no, no, it's all fine. It's all fine. It's not all fine. If it was all fine, you wouldn't be sick. So that's, because yeah. a lot of times people will, there's two concerns I have here. One is my dad had leukemia. He went to a naturopath. The naturopath bragged that he could have my dad fixed in no time. Well, he didn't. And it was probably more my dad's fault than the naturopath's fault. But the naturopath got blamed by my dad. Like, oh, I went to this guy twice and it never worked and blah, blah, blah. So all naturopaths are BS, right? And that's one of the traps that you can fall into. So you have to understand that your subconscious mind is 80, 90, 95% of everything that happens to you and your conscious mind is 5%. So when you consciously think, yeah, no, I'm fine, and you got 95% of you saying, ha, 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 you're not fine, and you're not looking, then you're going to have a hard time re releasing that trauma. And so whenever we talk about, yeah, you can get better, and there'll be someone that's, well, I've had it for 38 years. I've never got better. Well, you know, you weren't working with us, first of all. And secondly, we don't know what happened in the last 38 years. We only know what we can do moving forward. And so with that, we need to say good night. Thank you very much for joining us. And if you have any questions, post them. We'll do our best to answer them. And uh, he's Martin Patella, the health coach. <laughs> I'm Scott Patton. And uh, we're the admins of the Fibromyalgia Support Group. And we look forward to going on this journey towards health and vibrant health with you.